The beat could use a bit more thunder. anyone to be out in the park right now especially with the storm <laughs> no you're sopping wet did I catch you by surprise sorry <laughs> I was feeling inspired it's not often that I get to be created in this part of the world so I couldn't really help myself when inspiration hits you must act on it Elsewise, it will slip between your fingers. Hmm? Oh, the, the storm, I mean. The mood just struck me. Ah, uh, I should explain. I'm a weather elemental. I'm in the process of moving some unwanted storm systems through here. This park, with its roses, is absolutely breathtaking. But I saw that the irrigation system isn't working in some areas, so some of the roses are. Let's be honest, they're dying. And there's none of my kind around right now to stop me from making a little summer storm. So I figured I'd give the roses a bit of help and run off my creative energy. The results are... Well, they're fantastic, wouldn't you say? <laughs> I suppose, though, being caught in a sudden downpour isn't what you'd consider fantastic. Here, let me... There. Now you're all dry. And to help with keeping you that way. An umbrella, made just for you. I've bestowed it with a little extra repellent, by the way, so those raindrops will fall right off of it the moment they hit. No need to hang it up anywhere to dry. Just uh, swinging it around, uh, a little bit will shake off the rest of the water, and it'll be gone from its surface. You can then store it away as you see fit. <laughs> You're very welcome. The least I can do after getting you caught up in my little antics. Ah, by the way, I know this is a bit random, but... Would you care to join me for a stroll? I know it's raining and all, but you're already out and... Well, you're already dry, so... <laughs> Lovely. Hmm? Oh, you've noticed. Yes, I don't touch the ground. Yes, I, I hover just above it, just so slightly. As a weather elemental, I'm as light as a cloud. Sometimes I have to remember to stay in the moment. If I'm not paying attention, I can easily get caught up in my thoughts and start floating away. Quite literally. It's rather romantic, uh, until a jetliner passes right through you. <laughs> yes, it's happened to a few friends of mine. Our heads are always in the clouds, but that must be why we can create such inspiring storms. Not everyone enjoys them, though. No. Some people are terrified of lightning and thunder, which is a shame. I love tuning my storms in particular. To have the sort that sparks across the horizon. You know, those ones that just jut out everywhere. But I understand that that's not everyone's cup of tea. Believe it or not, there are some weather elementals that are afraid of lightning, too. 
Yes, absolutely. Some have a hard time reigning in the lightning, so they'll stick to wispy cirrus clouds or creating culminations of cumulus. You know, the cute little puffballs that sometimes look like animals or things. <laughs> yes, those ones. I've taken the liberty of shaping a few clouds into cats here and there. I just love cats, but... Seeing as I'm usually a sign of rain to come, they don't always care for me. <sighs> and speaking of rain... It's always interesting when I meet someone out and about on a rainy day. Especially my surprise summer storms. You either meet people who are completely taken aback and bemused, or rather surprising individuals who couldn't be happier that I'd come calling. Those ones are my favorite. Sometimes I'll see them looking out their window, <laughs> or their actively taking a walk right in the rain. Some look <laughs> so excited, just waiting for the next shudder of lightning to streak across the sky. Others seem so very calm, as if I've given them a glimpse of inner peace. What about you? What have I given you besides wet clothes and a fancy umbrella? <laughs> I see. I'm really glad we had the chance to meet. You're refreshing. Just like the summer roses. Inspiring and genuinely easy to be around. Can I, uh, can I tell you a secret? It's, uh, well, it's a silly secret, but a secret nonetheless. You see, we weather elementals were always on the move where the wind takes us, so to speak. So we see a lot of places, a lot of people and things. And don't get me wrong, that's exciting, but... Like everything, we're bound to the laws of nature. We can't let too much rain fall here. We can't get too creative with the storm there. Even now, I'm, uh, pushing it with this little downpour. As I said before, originally I was just here to move some naughty cloud lines out of the area. But when I create, be it a light shower or a magnificent maelstrom of a storm, I, I can't really help myself. I can't help but follow a certain pace that becomes a tune. A melody hidden within layers of cloud lines and thunder and raindrops and wind. Usually, a uh, storm seems so chaotic because nature is generally unpredictable and wild. But I always, <laughs> always leave a little tune within my storms. Something that, if you listen to, very carefully, you'll hear the rhythm of. Of course, to ensure I don't get caught, you can only hear it at a certain time, at a certain place, at a certain angle. You know what I mean. But it's how I like to work. And the way the scenery unfolds around me becomes my greatest inspiration. And, uh, just between you and I, you've become a part of my inspiration too. <laughs> and of course I'm serious. 
And if you ever want to hear your piece in my symphony, then it's me visiting here. You need only come back to this place and you'll hear it. You may need to, um, walk around a bit to find just the right place. To just find the right pace. But it will be there. Waiting for you. Now, I've taken up more than enough of your time. Thank you once again for the stroll. And I hope you enjoy the next storm that comes waltzing in. It may just be mine. Until next time, my friend.